A month ago, work was still taking place to roof the utility building. And the dolphin, although flooring was down, was largely free of reinforcing rod. Concrete had just been poured in the compound attached to the utility building and on the second floor of what will become the passenger terminal. There has to be some satisfaction in operating this ride-on trowel. Tarpaulins covering a conduit run suggested that concrete was poured there too. The excavation area behind the existing passenger terminal appeared to have been filled. A little later, a clay-heavy layer was added. A visit at the end of April revealed substantial work taking place on the South Finger Dock. Laying sub-roof on the utility building appeared to be complete and in the compound, ducting was being fabricated. Installation of the ducting in the roof space was already underway. The products of aluminum fabrication were evident in the passenger terminal west end as well. Out on the Dolphin, the first reinforcing rod was being placed on the plastic chairs. Stocks on the dock suggested there was much more to come. An examination on May Day revealed that work was progressing steadily. Work was also noticed on the eaves of the utility building. And the South Finger Dock continued to receive attention. A week later and work was still very much underway. Considerable care and attention is clearly being paid to this area. A look at the Dolphin as the Wolf Islander 3 departs reveals that considerable progress is being made. crew are in great heart as they take on the task of moving and placing an extremely heavy bollard without mechanical assistance. Back on shore, looking at the utility compound reveals that some of the electrical and air handling equipments have now been moved onto their pedestals. At the top of the dock, what appears to be a massive pile driving machine is seen lowering its boom, perhaps for maintenance or repair. Whatever the issue may have been, the equipment appears entirely serviceable by May the 12th. The area behind the current passenger terminal continues to show change perhaps linked to suitability for dielectric purposes. Large quantities of ground dumped gravel may be destined for the South Finger Dock. Note in passing that preparations are being made to lay concrete on the floor of the utility building at its east end. The mooring bollard that we saw wrestled into place earlier has been joined by another on the Dolphin. Moving past the slabs towards the future passenger terminal, there's a big surprise in store. Air handling units have been installed on the west end of the building. These would appear to be industrial grade. One area that does not show significant change over time is the ramp. Perhaps that will change before long. And if you want to know when, the best way to find out is by following these updates. Thanks for watching.